Park so pretty was short so cute downtown came at the last day guys and it was a lot of people so I'll definitely be happy and but I sat down you guys I was rushing to get here but let me just show you the little items that I picked up when I first came to the check-in desk it's so cool they have food tickets so I'm going to get my drink to drink so I'm just relaxing so we just got a this is really cool, so I'll tap in with you guys in a moment. Now, we are a beauty and wellness and self-care studio. We specialize in luxury beauty treatments and with an emphasis on offering our diverse guests a personal experience, which is called the deluxe experience. Now we offer a variety of services, from makeup application, facials, nail and foot care, as well as classes and consultations. Now, as you can see, that's Shanae and Wanda. Now, Shanae is the girl who gets everything done. She owns her own salon, but she gets everything done. And Wanda, as you can see, still has her mustache. She needs her hair done. She needs a little help. Coco Deluxe Beauty was started because I noticed that clients were inconvenienced with multiple locations <laughs> for different services. They have poor quality of service in those locations, as well as the service providers lack education. So just a little piece on having education and knowing about your clients and making sure you understand what your field is. I have a client, she went to get a pedicure somewhere. She got a small cut on her foot. She's a diabetic. It turned into an infection. Yeah. So they had to amputate all the toes off of her right foot from a small cut because someone didn't go through the process of actually asking her or doing any type of consultation with her beforehand. Now our target clients are women between the age of 25 and 55 years old who like to invest in luxury beauty treatments. They're professional women and self-care lovers who like to the convenience of seamless service. They see their beauty treatments as an investment and not an expense. And they like to feel supported in their health and beauty journey, which is sometimes very sensitive. Um, 
I'm actually going to go to the workshop on September 7th. Um, somebody referred me to that workshop and told me that if I go, that the flood doors will open. So. Good morning, all. This is your girl, Shasta LaRae, and I am super excited, y'all. My cousin is getting married, and so... um. We are in Ohio, but we just had to travel a couple hours. Well, not even a couple, maybe like an hour and a half to get to um, another town um, within Ohio. So we're at the hotel and I'm getting ready to show y'all the setup. My mom is actually doing her hair. So this is the setup I'm gonna show y'all behind me. Okay, for the ladies hair that she's doing. My mom got like different stations set up, you guys. I know you guys can't see it, but that's like the, uh, I'm walking backwards. I can still walk backwards. That's the drying station right there, okay? And then if I turn around and walk backwards, that's the hair station. It's super exciting. She did my hair yesterday, but my curls, they kind of, uh, kind of, they soft, so they kind of bounced out a little bit but i was looking for a classy look like the wavy look so i'm gonna strain it up more um and uh yeah so i'm super excited y'all it's gonna be fun <laughs> so i'm definitely gonna vlog and um throughout the day and stuff i have my chamomile tea this is actually sleep tea so <laughs> i'm gonna make it throughout the damn time but um so yeah you guys i'll be tuning in you got me so
Hey y'all, it's your girl Shasta Lorray, and I'm back from my cousin's wedding. Even though the weekend ain't no rest finna be lit, um, boom, right? Um, I'm on my way to the phone store, y'all, because um, my motherfucking phone is broke okay thank god i got two phones but just the thing the phone that is broke got everything i need like my lift app you know if i need to get somewhere i can get somewhere or whatever and it's just so irritating y'all you know? because i can't catch what i need to catch to get to where i need to go and uh it's just all around bad timing, so. And then I can't ask nobody for shit, so. Um, I'm just on my way to the phone store to get me a new phone. Like, ridiculous, y'all. Sitting up here mad as hell right now. I mean, like, real live power walking so I can get to where I need to go, you know? Cause it's just like it's bad timing so i'm just done y'all i'm done with dating i know i talk to y'all about shit all the time but when i say i'm fed up i'm fed up for real you know and we all make mistakes in life like you know it's gonna be somebody that you know, you done passed up that you should have gave the chance to or whatever the case might have been. But, <clears throat> but, um, it just sucks. That's all. It just sucks. Um, um, and, I'm just done. And I know I'm not the only one, okay? Because I found that out not too long ago. That I'm not the only one who's sitting up here having these kind of problems in the city of Cleveland. And I'm talking about some beautiful girls got degrees and everything, okay? I know about four or five of them uh, that is having the same issue I'm having. And they good girls, and it's just like, it sucks. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like either a dude is nice, and he's very attentive, but he broke. And he don't got the resources that he need, or either you got a nigga who got resources and got things going on, but they selfish. You know, so it's just like, it's um, it's either one or the other, and it just sucks, y'all. Like real talk, it sucks. So um, I'm gonna tap in with y'all in a minute. Um, I'm just here. I'm gonna get to this phone store and I'll holler at y'all. I'm going across the street.